Welcome, welcome back, everyone, to we're another back, episode back. here, man. Today's a Tuesday, May 18th. We are all it looking clean. It is 7.40 p.m. You know? <laughs> with, with three seconds. <laughs> with three seconds. <laughs> nah, man, but welcome back, man. We're here to another episode. Uh, I believe we're at episode 136. So uh, we're still moving up. The numbers are still rising. Uh, yeah, man, we're here. We're all happy to be here again. Happy to see everyone. Are we? He looks sad. I'm I'm just lit, bro. He's just, <laughs> just lit again. Lit, man. He's <laughs> just baked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These are still the same, but our numbers of episodes are rising. They're still rising. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, we're man. not really growing, but it's, yeah. we're just, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back, Apollo. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you just come through and roast us. Yeah, we're we're being joined again by Apollo. Shout yeah, out yeah, Ricky. yeah, Shout yeah. Shout out to my boy Ricky. Shout out to all my boys out here. Shout out to Hank the Soundman. He doesn't get enough uh, oh, this level is true. to slide through. That's yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, shout out to Hank. Give him credit for, for all the work he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, shout out to Hank, man. He does yeah. a lot of work, man. Yeah. We don't give him enough credit, man. <laughs> all you bitches, go hit up Hank. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, all my hey, hey, what's his plugin? What's his plugin? Hey, hey, all my female followers, hit up Hank for his Frank. Me, <laughs> 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 you know what I'm talking about? We're not talking about beef, you dig? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's that kind of episode today, I guess. Yeah. It has to be. Nah, we love Hank, man. You know what I'm saying? We do. Yeah, in all honesty, bro, we, we wouldn't be half the men we are today. <laughs> if it wasn't for Hank? Yeah. I don't even think I'd be here today. You know? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I don't even know how I made it. He helped me get out the house. You know? <laughs> I don't even think I'd be parked right over there. <laughs> but, you know? Special moments, man. Special person. But shit, man. Everyone, everyone good? Yeah. Everyone happy good. today? Yeah. Lovely yeah. Tuesday. Lovely Tuesday. That's yeah. right. That's it was right. actually sunny today. So that was you dress problem. so lovely. What's going on? I know. What's, what's yeah, up, Chewy? Explain, explain your swag, because that's a whole different type of swag. Yeah. I, I, I like the shoes. This is the work swag, bro. And I didn't have time to, to change when I got off work. I was like, oh, man, I'll just mob it out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bro, that's the, that's so, what you're an espresso away from tripping. <laughs> 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 He's a shot. I'm not uh, a shot of liquor. I'm talking about a shot of espresso. Well, well, shot of espresso with the shot of liquor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> two more court, two more court orders, and, and then you yeah. get it. <laughs> Damn it, Kathleen! I told you no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Throws the whole paperwork at yeah. it. <laughs> paperwork. Uh, <laughs> fucking chew bikes. Just came back from the jury dirty. Yeah, you jury jury. Just got done. Jury jury. Okay, I got another question. Uh, do you mind dressing like that? I actually like it. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right, yeah. Playboy. You have to dress like that. You have to, if you sell insurance for a living, bro, you have to like it. <laughs> you, so you're you comfortable to... in walking in those shoes? For well, I just bought these, actually. Because you know they... what the funniest thing is? Oh, this is a funny What's story. What's the funniest is, uh, thing, bro? At, I need uh, a laugh, homie. <laughs> up until literally two days ago everybody on my job thought that like i never wore dress shoes because i would always show up in like jordans and like the all Cortezes. kinds of don't forget the Cortezes. yeah the Cort like all kinds of like bad like i always dressed hella nice like this but always had like badass kicks and they would always be like oh this was always like adding a little swag with like the kicks and shit okay. but it's funny because then randomly this week because on friday we had a meeting with the fucking vice president of the company oh shit that fool like came down from kentucky or wherever nah. the fuck like he's at yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this it, 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 that, that, that fool came down <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that, I don't say that. Anyway. That, that, that fool came down and so they're all like, "Oh, you gotta wear like actual shoes because he'll fucking trip about that shit." So, hey, disclaimer: If you're uh, the boss, watches this, bro. He, he didn't mean that. Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah he disclaimer: We're gonna re re render that in <laughs> real time. But that's yeah, not gonna be in real time. <laughs> he was not doing such activities. He wants to become a future manager. Uh, LLC, business, business license. Yeah. Himself in the way. You know, he might look like he's a sneeze away from just losing it all, but. He's He's actually a really, he's a really, you know, good guy. Oh, but yeah, I just cop these. They're comfortable, though. <laughs> <laughs> to end my story. Yeah. So that was the funniest thing. <laughs> to, That's to the end funniest the, thing. Yeah. <laughs> nah, all right. That kind of was the funniest well, thing. I really like your socks. But... I really like your socks. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are the, like the only little flare I got right now. The Star Wars socks. Okay, sure. Got to add a little bit something. Okay. I, I, I thought look... that was a fucking panda. Okay. Oh, no. Panda. And, they, oh, and, then the, and then the tie's a bunch of bats, too. <laughs> I, I got to add a little bit, you know, because I can't keep it all. You know. Fuck's fucking Damn. niggas' wives yeah. over here, man. Yeah. Batman. Okay. <laughs> 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 fucking chill. Chill. <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> All right, man. For shit, let's go. Let's go ahead on to our sponsors, man. Let's give our sponsors. We got off a, a little out, bit, man. but you know, so now that he's right here on the left of me, uh, shout out to Minor Bay Creations. Tap in, tap in, man. Anything you guys dream of, I can make it happen. If not, I got connection. Then it'll seem like I make it happen. So there you go. There Just you go. Just tap in. <laughs> uh, any custom apparel, hats, shoes. I've been messing with it, but not there yet, but pretty soon. So. Well, my dream is to have a free house, so make it happen. I will. Give, me, give me five grand, I'll make it happen. No, I said free. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh. Is that for me? The buck dog, don't rely on my red. Make creations to follow you back on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry, guys. Uh, tap it for any other services. Tap it for any <laughs> services. He doesn't reply. He doesn't reply anything to custom, all. Anything yeah. custom related, tap, tap, tap in. For <laughs> Not for the follow back, though. Not for the follow back. Oh, hey, and if it's, after 10 p- if it's after 10 p.m., they got different kinds of services there, too. <laughs> hey. Damn. Damn. Shit, that's don't let me know the code. You said you didn't have the $100 parties. The $100 parties. <laughs> well, it's already shit. happening low-key, nigga. Just... Yeah. Just what by yourself? Hey, it's just, it's just money money at yourself? Money myself, <laughs> I, I gotta throw it to my lady though, yeah, for real though. <laughs> Your lady throws money at you? No, I throw it at her. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. There you go. There you anyway, go. so moving forward. Moving uh, forward. Shout, shout out to, to the uh, the Fish House, also located in Watsonville. Uh, just Google them up, man, and uh, you will find them and get your fucking bar food, fucking alcohol, fucking appetizers, all that fucking, type of stuff. Fucking. Fucking. Fucking <laughs> all that shit, yeah, homie. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, also, uh, the Monterey Bay uh, Auto Spa was it Auto Spa? Monterey, yeah. Bay, Monterey Bay Auto Spa, yeah. man, they get your whip cleaned up. Didn't you? Didn't you get? Yeah, you yeah. Just got I it, just right? got my Jeep they cleaned from them, yeah. bro. They they do pull up on you and they fucking. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. They fucking clean the fucking car really good from the vacuuming to having the car smell super fresh. Um, I had just came back from Fresno, man, which is like, you know, a little bug city. And it has so many fucking dead flies and bugs, bugs all it, over yeah. the fucking grill and fucking windshield. And they literally, I think they took damn near every fucking bug that was on there, bro. So they cleaned it fucking perfectly. There's a so, few smack needles connected yeah. to the car. <laughs> so uh, shout out to them, man. You know, search them up on uh, Instagram, uh, all their Facebook. infos, Facebook, all that type of stuff. Uh, they pull up to you, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to drive nowhere, man. You save gas. They pull up on you. They get it done right there on the spot. Um, and then, of course, uh, definitely eating. You know, your boy right over here. Uh, new merch. Everything's already on the, on the website, man. Um, if you want to find out more information of where my next upcoming events are, just go on the website at definitelyeating.com. And then we'll let you know where we're at, what city we're at. And, uh, yeah, man, new candles, new hoodies, new T-shirts. Uh, so everything everything's on on. And you're on popping restock. up all over right now, huh? I'm oh, hoping so. Huh? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping yeah. so. But, He's uh, like almost famous. <laughs> How was Napa? So tap in. Na- Napa was nice, man. Napa was beautiful. Cool. Love it. It was my first time out there, too, man. So my first time out there in the city. Out Did you drink there any wine uh, while you were out there? Uh, no, nah, I didn't. I didn't. Did I was drinking a lot there? of water, bro. I was drinking a lot of water. It was like, it I was kind of good. I know you went glue. somewhere to eat, though. Huh? I know you went somewhere to eat. He had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. I got a little food. <laughs> but, um... Some to call medium. But yeah, anyways, yeah, man. Let's 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 start. Let's start with the uh let's get this. Let's get this. Sh- 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 so <laughs> <laughs> All right. So someone explained to me this uh alien topic. So as our so, source was saying, I guess the military released more uh UFO sightings and they were stating that they were there when it happened, but they don't know what the fuck it was. So do you guys think they're lying or they're being serious? They always trying to be sneaky about it. No, uh, I mean if they're saying if they're already reporting it that they seen it and the videos are out. I mean, first of all, if our source yeah. is CNN, we could definitely almost 100 <laughs> percent prove it is false, not official. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, if CNN put something out there, it's typically false. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like. They're admitting that they recorded it. They're releasing the footage, but they're, oh, they, 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 but they're saying they don't know what it was. They for sure know. They're just trying to like not let anybody know. You know, if they oh, really 100%. had the stuff, they they would know for sure. It's like radiation. They're trying to see. <laughs> Yeah, if they really got aliens or like stuff like that, they don't know for sure like what they got. Like they're already doing research on it and all that. Thousand percent. 
Because that's that's one of those things where it's like, I mean, aliens. There's been multiple people. There's there's Netflix series about people who worked for uh, what is it, Area Fifty One? Yeah. Like multiple people talk about, yeah, aliens exist, bro. And then they end up getting fired, and they end up wiping their whole identity away, like mm-hmm. twenty years of their life just gone. And then people are like, oh, we don't believe you, you dig? You know, shout out to June over here filming me, all awkward. You know, June. Hey, all the females, go hit my boy June. Um, <laughs> in that, in that, in that sense, I don't want to talk too much because last time I felt like I talked too much. That's what people in the comment section said, even though nobody commented. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said I commented myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, like long story short, bro. In my personal opinion, aliens exist, bro, and this is something that they've been hidden. But if you think about it, if you take it to the least common do- denominator, bro. Like, you think somebody who just is, is just dumb as hell is going to be able to comprehend that they've been lied to their whole life. Like, we are being lied to our whole life. But most people, some people are smart enough to know that. Mm-hmm. And some people are just ignorant enough to be like, you know what? This is this is how it is. It's I'm agnostic yeah, about yeah. aliens, fool. Like, yeah, what? what? Agnostic. It means I, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> believe Definition? against it, but I do. And I also don't believe for it. Like, I'm like unsure. Yeah. But you believe in Star Wars, right? Yeah. Hey, you didn't let me finish. My bad. <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> in my name, in my name. I believe in Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, I just don't have proof, is what I'm saying. But I, w- I but hope. But you will. No, but I hope aliens exist. I'd love it if like that. Oh, like, they're gonna talk about Star Wars, nigga. No, because I, I want that shit to happen, bro. I, I want Star Wars to be a thing. I want us to like have ships and go out to space and shit. I mean, we do the have Joyce, ships that go Joyce out to space. SpaceX, bro. No, I don't got the money for it. I gotta come up. Come up for what? To hey, aren't like the tickets like thirteen grand for no, like? No, just join the military and go to this fucking. Oh, space the SpaceX. Space oh Force. shit, yeah. Space Force. Yeah, yeah, the Space SpaceX Force. SpaceX yeah. is the Elon Musk shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, yeah, Space Honestly, Force. just get better or get beat at this point. Nah, I'm going to join the Space Force, bro. I'm going to be <laughs> one of those, uh, those missile launchers. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, we were trying to shoot this satellite now. Boom. Why are you trying to kill people? Yeah. All right, like so um, I think aliens are real. I think they already know that. I think we've had encounters, many encounters with them. Yeah. yeah. Except they still think we can't handle the truth. And I feel like by saying that they do know, but yet saying they don't know, they keep pe- they tell us the yeah. truth, but no one can decide whether it's true or not. So like, here's here's the thing. Like with me, it's like I I definitely believe they exist, but it's like people can't even comprehend what the hell happens in front of them. What mm. makes you think that they can comprehend? Understand, yeah. yeah, something that like exists, but that's been hidden from them. Mm-hmm. Like you could smack somebody upside the head with common sense, they still won't have common sense. Them dumbasses. Like real spill. Like that's just facts. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things where it's like, bro, you saw the head with something that they don't know, and they still don't know, and like they're gonna be like, feel like, oh no, it's like it's like a female, bro. What you find out? She been talking to other dudes. You're heartbroken, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just got real serious. <laughs> 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 I don't know what you heard, but females aren't aliens, nigga. Hey, are it's you cool. good? You're no, good. I'm an alien. Cool. It's cool. That's why they leave me. It's cool. It's you, good. Weren't so, like, you weren't supposed to be like that, though. No! <laughs> you're, di- you're different from the rest, baby. Yeah. She lied to me, guys. I know what you mean, right? She told me I was different. It's always a Snapchat video, too, that ends it all. Damn, Snapchat video. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Snapchat video. It's always the Snapchat stories. What do you think, DJ? What, about Hell aliens? You believe it? Yeah, I mean, like Apollo was saying, man, there, there's been so much information that's been said. I mean, I've watched documentaries and shows of even people telling their own stories of what they saw and We're getting abducted and shit. Yeah, yeah just like weird stuff so I'm like man if these people are swearing to their life and they weren't on any drugs and they're 100 percent sure that's how they feel and that's what they saw I mean I, I could believe it you know what I mean but of yeah, course yeah. me personally I never seen none of that there's people that be like, oh bro you never seen a UFO though I'm like I don't think I have. I mean, <laughs> I've seen hella lights and different random shit in the sky, but yeah. I don't. But I'm not gonna be the person that's like, oh, bruh, I was saying I seen the UFO though. Yeah. Like, you feel me? I'm not gonna say that because there is some definitely you know I mean? weird stuff in the sky though. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, yeah. you do be looking like at random times and like yeah. you'll see like a different light or a, a certain cloud shape or something lower than the yeah, ground. Than normal. Yeah, yeah. And you're just kind of like, what's Or sometimes that? you think, like, oh, it's a plane, but then it'll move a different way, and you're like... But then you don't want to be like, oh, that's a UFO, because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you just think Everyone about it. claims they've seen UFOs, and they've seen crazy shit, and it's So like, I have right? a question for everybody. Yeah. If aliens do exist, right, so I believe they exist, but I want everybody, you know, and, and, you know, as a collective, to, I want to hear everybody's opinion on this, because I always think about this. If they do, 
do you think us as humans and the people that are hiding it from us, do you think they already have relationships I would with say, these yeah. type of, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, do you feel like they've communicated with them? Yeah. Yes, Definitely. yes, yes. Yeah, if I they already they exist, they found ways to communicate with them. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot what president met up with. That's crazy. Some fucking. Oh, I mean, think it was, uh, what's his face? Uh, Nixon? Was it Nixon? Yeah. Supposedly he had a meeting with, with extraterrestrials, supposedly? That's it crazy. could be. I, I had a, a good source, correct me if I'm wrong, source. Uh, he said CNN. something about <laughs> aliens. <laughs> aliens gave, know the power of how to control humanity. So there's people that understand it and they're talking to them. So they're the ones that pretty much run the world right now. But they're it, getting all the knowledge from like aliens and shit like that. Hey, that would actually be fucking crazy. And I believe that. I, I could believe that. <laughs> well, <laughs> said, I could believe that. Well, you believe in Star Wars, bro. So I think, <laughs> so I think you could believe in that. <laughs> Nobody oh, listened to that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> do, you guys, <laughs> do you guys believe there's some aliens on Earth that like, like the reptile type us? shit? Like, imagine Not if there's something like type shit, but there's just, just among you know just imagine some that are like camouflage, yeah, like, yeah, like like as people, like regular people just walking by, but they they get home and they take off like a skin suit or something. Oh, like yeah, like are you talking about like something like that? Like where they basically walk as a human and they're living as a human, but they're disguised as like yeah. they're disguised as a human basically. Yeah, yeah but they're yeah. alien. Yeah. I don't know if it's to that extent. But like I definitely feel like yeah, even just with like these shit. robots and like all you know like even that, you saw what if they're and, just like, like same like us, but they're Thinking it's fucking, some yeah, other shit. Yeah. Was just so I mean, that could be it. Yeah. I mean, what, an alien is an alien because they he's not from Einstein Earth. Einstein was an alien just because you know? he'll fucking sit at a corner and stare off for a fucking a whole day, come back with a whole new formula and a whole new math and shit. That's what's crazy. And he was just like, saying, how like, come up with that shit? Like, yeah, how does it he come was just to saying, you? like, it yeah. would just come to me. Yeah, it could be. Probably so, had an alien talk to him and tell him, like, I have no idea. That's a th that's he a got thing brain that... fucked by an alien. Because think oh. about it. Who the fuck thinks, like, okay, if I do this and I make this and I mix it together, I can make an engine? Like, who the fuck thought of that? Yeah. You know, like, someone had to tell someone, like, look, if you do this and do this, it causes this. And if you enclose it, it gives you power. Like, yeah. someone had to. I don't know. It doesn't just come out of nowhere. Like, okay, no, no, you do yeah, this, of course, of course. and it's fucking gonna happen. Yeah, like you know? the experiments were pretty like very specific for it to like somebody to just decide that out of the blue. That's what I'm saying. Like, how do you just come up with some random shit like that? Like, it has to be shaped like this, and then you gotta add this shit, connect it to this shit, and it's right. gonna work. It's kind of like how does a negative times a negative equal a positive? Because a negative times a negative is always a positive. <laughs> he said, but why? <laughs> <laughs> I gave him the because. That's what the teacher said. He said, because the negative doesn't negative. So if you have negative money in the bank account <laughs> oh, and you shit. fail to pay the bill and another negative charge comes, is your bank account going to be positive? It's going to be negative because you mentioned three negatives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's move forward, man. Aliens exist, and Star Wars is real. Let's all move right. forward. And Bakugan is just a troll. <laughs> and we got Chewbox right here. Hey, what, what? I'm alien fool. What if you never knew? You are. All He's right. an alien. Look at you. All right, so I'm gonna try fool. reading. I'm gonna try to read this topic <laughs> as much. As best as I could with this writing. No offense to who wrote it. So Lil Reese got shot in a squid boat. <laughs> no, each, no. each line is a different one, fool. Each line is a different one, fool. He's got shot in the squid boat. He, he was on squid fishing. All right, so what? <laughs> Pick the next he was topic, squid gang. In Just Chicago. click on it. Yeah. Click on it. Click on it. Click on the next crazy. topic. You got shot in a boat. So what is it? Okay, Lil Reese got shot. All uh, right, yeah. So I don't even know what this guy is, but everybody <laughs> says this ain't, <laughs> this ain't the first time that he got shot. Yeah, no, I didn't well. know who he was either, but I, I learned about him. <laughs> well, no, I guess uh, what he got shot in the neck before? I don't know. I have no All idea. All I heard is that he yeah, got right? shot before. He got shot in the neck. Supposedly they're saying with an AK. Oh supposedly. shit! Really? Yeah. For what? What was it for? It was just gang. You know, gang shootings in Chicago. It's Chirac. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess this time he got caught in a whip that was stolen and they just beat up everybody that was I in the whip. I thought they were trying to steal it at that same time. No, it was already stolen. Oh. So the owner tracked it down. Mm. And, um, it was a SRT, one of the, the yeah, dogs. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, And, uh, so they caught him and, you know, it turned into a fucking whole scuffle, whole fight and shit. And I guess they fucked him up and 
a bullet grazed him. He didn't get shot. It was just a graze. So oh. the bleeding from the video was, was him, him getting fucked up. He was just he got fucked up. Oh shit. Yeah, now he's supposedly he's blind from one eye for Damn. I don't know how long. Wait, but it's kind of his fault because I'm reading here that he tried to steal someone's car. Correct. No, it was already stolen. They were riding around in the stolen whip, I believe. And then the, so, the so they were yeah. in a car that they didn't oh. steal, but it was stolen. Yeah, well, he he's saying that it. he didn't steal it. He he just met up with them. Okay. Yeah. And they picked them up. Regardless, they, he was in a stolen vehicle. Owner found them said. because yeah, cars yeah, nowadays yeah. have GPS in them. Yeah. And, you know, and he got fucked up. And let me mm-hmm. ask you guys a question. If, if that happens, like, let's say somebody steals a car, but you're not the one that stole it, but you're riding around in the stolen car, and then somebody kills you because they think you stole the car, do they get charged for murder since no. they didn't know that? They killed it the wrong person. Matter. It doesn't matter. You still killed someone, so I think oh, you still get charged with murder. You're, you're getting holding. You're not going to get a hearing. And they're not going to be later. like, oh, you didn't mean to kill him. You have to show go into county for a couple of years before you even get a hearing. Yeah. <laughs> so you gonna yeah. be locked up, especially because yeah. you're going to be a high priority case, but like not high priority if you know what I'm saying. So like, yeah, but like that. I mean, it's TMZ. So then again, you know what I'm saying. TMZ is just as reliable as CNN. So. uh <laughs> can we get a dot org, Henry? <laughs> can we get can, 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 can we get can a reliable we get a, source? Can we get a dot edu? Yeah, or can anything? we get yeah. yeah. <laughs> can we get a dot uh, a dot definitely eaten? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No Wikipedia. <laughs> so pretty much he just got fucked up, right? Wikipedia dot org. Okay, can we do anything not dot org that has Wikipedia in front of it? Ah <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I don't know. Like for, for for this specific instance, are we supposed to give our opinion about like what Whatever. we feel, what I, we would do in this situation? We're just, talk, we're just talking about it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think you know, like I said, if he knew he was in a stolen vehicle, I mean, I think yeah. the owner of the car noticed it. At that point, the owner already is assuming, oh, you know, you're in a stolen car. Because yeah. I, I mean, just from my personal perspective, if I see someone driving in my car. Are you Whether I'm already no, I'm, I'm not talking about shooting, but I'm already like, all right, you motherfuckers know no, you guys are in a stolen car. I think you should know if you're in a stolen yeah. car. You know what I'm saying? Low key. Really <laughs> no, I'm saying we don't but, have straps though. Oh, okay. I feel yeah. you, DJ. Yeah. Yeah. I think Allegedly, I think yeah. in this Allegedly. scenario, you know, Chicago motherfuckers don't give a fuck. You know, there's a lot of people out there that don't give a fuck. Not just Chicago, but Chicago <laughs> is one of those states where it's super high in shootings and violence. So of course they didn't give a fuck. You know, they're like, okay, y'all, y'all thought y'all got me. Like, nah, I, 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 sweet. I got yeah. you. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and that's just the way it is. And I think you know, I'm not trying to say Lil Reese deserved it, mm-hmm. but if he was aware of where he was at and he's aware of what's going on. You, you gotta be ready for certain situations. Just you know. in general, if you're like around all that, yeah. it's gonna come back to you eventually. Mm-hmm. You know. Do you guys feel like it's a it was like an ill will thing? Like Lori saw like somebody's home uh, car and was like, "I'm gonna take." Like they knew who it was. Or do you think that per- it was just like a random car the person stole and he didn't even know it was Lil Reese in the whip? Yeah. You know, he didn't know he was going to make the news for, you know, grazing a bullet yeah. at Lil Reese. Or do you think he really stole his car and the dude was just hot? He didn't even know who stole his car. Yeah. I think if anybody stole yeah. your car, you'd be hot. I'm not saying you would shoot him. Oh, of course, of course. But, you know, you definitely, you know, you get a couple, you know what I'm saying? You know, Hell yeah. Hell mama, yeah. Mama, 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 bing, 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 bing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hell so yeah. Depends. And he could he could. If it's like innocent. three and I'm just rolling around with, with like my girl or something, then yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you I'm having it. my little friend with me, you know. Yeah. But, little friend. But I mean, if I'm reason. riding around and I got, you know, I'm riding around deep with the homies and shit. Then but I'm in this like, case, your car got stolen. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I'm going, I'm going around either by myself or if so I. You got to ride. You got to ride in the bucket to get your nice bit. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm riding, not... around, I'm riding around the bucket and the bike, whatever it is. On foot. <laughs> he said there you on go. foot. Shit, nigga, I'm getting my yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I, I honestly don't even know how to feel about it because I feel yeah. like we don't even have a good enough source. Yeah. And if he was innocent, then shit. <laughs> bad, 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 bad place, bad time. Yeah. I mean, think about yeah. it. Like when we kicked the sneak guy shot at the uh, at the gas, gas station. station. You know what I'm saying? Like. He wasn't looking for funk. He was there, Pumping you know what I'm saying? And and not even that. I believe he just pulled over because he was mad he lost hella money at the gambling, yeah. whatever gambling. Mm-hmm. I don't remember the at. full story, but I just remember it was just like I'm pulling up to the gas station and people sprayed and he ended up being one of the fucking, one of the yeah, victims, you know yeah. what I mean? And, That's crazy, man. And, you know, he's in a wheelchair right now, you know, but uh, like I said, he could have been innocent. Lori's could have been innocent in this situation, man. But we yeah, don't exactly. have all the sources. But you feel me? I Once mean, we get somebody other than Team to write a report, we we got to definitely yeah. check up and follow up. Hundred <laughs> percent. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right. So at least we know he didn't get shot in a boat. Then I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> Israel bombs. Israel bombs Palestine. 
Oh, I, yeah, I've been hearing about this. Yeah. I've been so, seeing it on my, my IG. They've been, seeing, yeah. they've been sending pictures of how their defense system works and shit. That shit's insane. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I follow Ghazi. Uh, Is that you know, true? The that Biden called for a ceasefire? Yeah. And he's, he's, uh, he's been posting a lot about it. Because he, he's, he's, pal- he's, how do you pronounce it? Pal- pal- Palestinian? Palestinian. Mm-hmm. Palestinian. He's Palestinian, yeah. So he was posting all that shit. Even, like, I'm living in the Bay Area right now. Like, uh, certain areas out there is, like, you got people protesting and shit. Wait, well, yeah, there was a protest Frisco. here in Monterey too. Fr- Frisco's uh, uh, right now heavy it's with it. It's huge, yeah. LA yeah. too. They're heavy out there too. I've seen that. But I mean, what do you guys think? I know the beef is like between them, but it's like this Israel. If I'm, tell me if I'm wrong. They're bombing Palestinians, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they're, they're hurting like little kids, get rid women, of them. civilians. And it's like it's not like military is not war. They're just like the whole country. Like someone. Throws a nuke at Seaside or Marina. Like, there's yeah. no point in it. It's just mm-hmm. kill whoever fucking mm-hmm. dies, you know? So, is the United States wrong for backing up the country that's oh, doing definitely. it? definitely. But I mean. Because that's what people are arguing, right? That mm-hmm. the but United I mean, the, States, the United States has been backing up shady shit for years. I mean, the mm-hmm. CIA, like, put the, you know, Al Qaeda in power. They, like, hello people. Mm-hmm. Like, the, there's a lot of shit that's always going on, like, in the back, you know, that mm-hmm. the, the government's involved in. So, regardless. Oh, yeah, 100%. Well, I mean, it starts off as, like, being a rebel group that's fighting for freedom, I guess, and then they yeah. end up turning to be something else. Terrorists. Because or... I don't even have. I mean, they call them terrorists, yeah. but yeah. at some point, Bush was cool with what's his name with Saddam Hussein. You yeah. know, like yeah, they, they were buddies, and then something happened, and it's like it fucked it over. It's like Chewbacca. He's a professional, but he's friends with gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> he's friends with gangsters too. Yeah. He could be yeah. the mayor, but he's gonna you know be backed up. Security is by you know his gang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I mean, I, I personally, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I, I don't have enough information. I don't either. To, like, yeah. come up with the uh, actual educated, well, I'll tell you, you this, know, the, the land no, belongs here. to the Palestinians, yeah. and it has for years, but yeah. they've been, like, displacing them yeah. out of it Because, like, when I, when I look at things like this, it's like, you know, like, you know, because, you know, you have everybody, you have the Instagram, you know, the Instagram fighters, you know, who are trying to make a change. And then you have, like, you know, you have, like, the actual, you have facts. You Because I, I honestly, like I said, I don't have enough information on this specific, uh, this topic. You know, if somebody could enlighten me or, like, you know, like, actually aware of me, I would, I would actually enjoy that, bro. But, like, you know, because there's factors of that. Like, when it comes to war, and I'm not saying war is, like, the answer, but, you know, then there's teams, like, did we back them up because they're, they've they been a public relation for multiple reasons that they backed us in resources or, you know, oil or – because there's other stuff like that that people don't see. Mm-hmm. And like when I see, it, I like to see the whole image. Then you know, portray my opinion because everything's opinionated. Everybody's right in their own opinion, right? So me and you can completely disagree, but at the end of the day, we're both right. So I don't know who's right in this situation because I don't know. And like I said, I, I should probably you know, get it says in the Bible you're gonna be a uh, you know uh, aware of wars and wary of wars, and uh, you're you're gonna think nothing of it, bro. And I think nothing of it right now, and it's a sad part. And I. I'm probably after this. I'm probably going to look up and see, you know, what's going on, because I've been seeing it over my Instagram. Yeah, so I, I'm yeah, actually yeah. going to look it up and see what's going on. But look at both aspects, because both sides has a story, and then it's figuring out which story you want to be a part of. Mm-hmm. So That's yeah, true, true. That's real. No, no, he literally probably said it. No, yeah. he literally said it that way because, like, he was saying it's all through IG. I don't have a, all the knowledge of what's been going on, mm-hmm. but from hearing from people it's it just sounds like oh yeah they're trying to get rid of all the palestinians and all of them yeah 100 percent. that's not and right so i'm it's like you so when you just so when you right. just hear it off the bat you're like all right well that's fucked up but they're just if someone is trying to destroy a whole a whole human, a race, whole it's human race it's like damn okay that's bad but it's hard just to be like okay that's that's the story you know it's mm-hmm. it's like you know what, what's really happening there's just there's a lot of pictures of you know dead children yeah. and shit. one thing we can say That's for sure that. though is you know rest in peace to all the the people that have lost family members to all yeah, the little, yeah, all the little kids oh, yeah. that didn't deserve this you a know? lot of families and that's in everything man it's just like it's sad that like you know when war happens like this like this could happen on u.s soil bless that oh, hasn't yeah. since you know pearl harbor but to think that this could happen in our country you know just like imagine monterey all these everybody all mm-hmm. of us just are wiped out for a purpose because at the end of the day like what it comes down to what i personally ever think like like i said in my opinion is what it comes down to is greed money everything has been that's been war related has been over money a woman or religion 
It's a fact, pure fact. Yeah. Right. So when you break it down like that, I think there's, you know, the 12 richest family. I don't want to get too much into this. But you got you got people, the 1% that care, cares nothing about the 99. You know, we're basically like even the same with like when people start getting into, you know, theories about the vaccine or other stuff. I don't want to get too controversial. But when you start like getting into stuff like that, you have people who are making these vaccines or something like that. You know, this is something off topic, but they don't care if a hundred thousand people die because it's not you know what i'm saying we're just ants to their lifestyle mm -hmm. to the one percent we're just basically little ants so yeah. if if apollo just dies because he took the second shot or apollo dies because he was a result of a war that doesn't matter to them and that's what we need to start i, I feel like mm -hmm. actually projecting bro because like we do matter like you matter in my life you matter in my life you guys have changed my life but to these other people who are money oriented and control all these resources you know all this other stuff we don't matter to them so the people that these innocent lives that are being lost are because these people who don't even care about us mm -hmm. yeah. so that's yeah. that's another thing man. that's real that's, that's, real. that's tough that's a tough thing to deal with Prayers to both sides, man. Yeah, Always real spill, right. man. Hey, prayers up. Prayers up for everybody, man. Like, real spill. That's, it's all bad. Yeah, man. When, if we get more updates on that, we'll for sure I'll get yeah. back to it. I'm sure we're going to keep hearing way more of this because I feel like this is something that just hasn't left the radar just yet. Started. Just like with the Black Lives Matter. Like, mm -hmm. it's something that has not, you know. So uh, we'll for sure get back to that. Uh, now we're going to... Uh, June fifteenth, uh, COVID restrictions. I guess. I guess this is when uh, the no mask rule is, is is being applied. Correct or yeah, uh, yeah. Is that, is that gonna be for on? full vaccinated people or everybody? Uh, oh, it's hundred percent. So you get vaccinated. Yeah. There, there's already there's already people walking around with no mask because they're already fully vaccinated. So over my event, uh, there was a lot of vendors who didn't have their mask on, and I would hear side conversations like, "Oh, you know, I'm fully vaccinated. I'm good. I'm good." And there's people walking around with no mask on too, and I'm. I I think it's uh, people who are fully vaccinated that feel comfortable. I mean, I'm there. I'm vaccinated, but I still have my shit on. You know what I'm saying? Just because like, I just want to make people feel comfortable. Like, Ooh. there might be people that might not. There's people that take it 100% serious and lost people. So, like, I don't want to be that person that's there. Like, I don't give a fuck. So, like, over. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's an event where there's a lot of people. So, like, it's, you know, it was important for me to have it on and, and at least show that I care to the people, mm -hmm. regardless of how hot it was or how whatever. You, feel, yeah. you know what I mean? But um, it, from here, it looks from June 15th, it looks like people now have the option to, uh, take off their mask if they if they believe they they're to. if they choose to and well, not have it in public everything's supposed to open up on June 15th like, yeah. all businesses are allowed to get back into business so everything's going to be yeah. back full capacity pretty much I believe so because I know Carmel already gave a date to get rid of those sidewalk mm -hmm. outdoor dining shit really as soon as yeah. I think they say they had like 30 days that's to get crazy rid of though because yeah. there's so much parking that was limited because of that you know yeah. how the sidewalk died. I know in Dago uh, in San Diego that was a huge thing like a lot of uh, in North Park in uh in, in like downtown, it was tough because like there was like no parking because the freaking restaurants it's already were, hard yeah, enough they were when overloaded it's, yeah. onto the Fuck. actual street, bro. Like it's crazy. There's dude. even That's already sort of jobs is, that uh, are already telling all their employees like you have until this date to, to get, get vaccinated back, to get vaccinated because yeah. apparently it's gonna make customers feel more comfortable, more comfortable. Like oh, that whole place is vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? Like let, let's yeah, it's more yeah. safe That's than so to touch. That's crazy though. You know, that but it's crazy. But it, but people are thinking like that though. People yeah. are like oh well, they're all fully like good like you know what i'm saying like trust me i was debating about if i should do it the whole time but you know m moms was getting good and everyone in the household I mean, it was and, like yeah and it was me. one of those things was like man if they feel safe and i feel safe and i did a little like i did my own little baby research of it i was like man i was like yeah that, fuck that, it. and like you were just saying if i'm one of those 100,000 that goes i'm like well fuck i better rap hard until the fucking <laughs> every day when i'm waking up bro like you oh, know yeah, what i'm saying I'm, like, not say, I'm not saying like it would happen because the vaccine but oh, i'm no, just no, saying no, like yeah. there's so many stuff in oh yeah, in yeah. history and true, just everything true. that like if something happens like yeah, you know yeah. they they're not gonna die from it. Yeah, yeah. We are gonna be the people yeah, that die from it. Yeah. Really and I know people that have legit gone sick and haven't gotten their taste buds back after fucking ca oh, catching yeah, COVID. 100%. So like, I was like, man, if I'm gonna be around so many people every weekend with fucking different people in different cities, I'm like, man, I might as well just get it and and know that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers can't that really. Sort of yeah, yeah, I, 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 play, I play my part, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's all I can up. do. <laughs> can't phase you. I'm fully vaccinated, yeah. too, and it's cool because at my job, at the very least, they already gave us the incentive that, because we used to every, every morning have to take our temperature, 
and like put it in there before we came in and that shit was annoying because sometimes i'd have to wake up like early and I like to sleep in, so... You have to wake up, brother, to take the temperature, bro? Yeah. <laughs> it takes like two seconds, cuz. Fucking true. Nah, What's fool. so frustrating about taking the temperature? That's a lot, of, like, wor- that's a lot right, of work man. for me, fool. Damn, nigga. Bro, he's already an espresso away from losing it all, bro. <laughs> that extra sleep is definitely needed. <laughs> why not why, bro? Every you, hour. You stay up late, like, watching... Like, anime. Watching what, anime. anime. <laughs> 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 Star Wars. Yeah. Hey, the person that watches... Oh, and Bill <laughs> Hey, I'm the type of person that one, one minute I'm watching anime and the next minute I'm watching Blood in Blood. <laughs> the next two a.m. is like, yeah, like, anime like, like Zelda getting fucked by Yoda. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Hey, send uh, me that video. Podcast, hey, send me that video. Too, that <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But uh, shit. Yeah, so, how, how are you guys feeling about this? Do you guys feel more like fuck it? I know this. This is around your birthday time. Do you feel more like fuck uh, it, or like, or you I mean, just like whatever with it? With, with the oh, with the mask thing. With the yeah. I just mean the, the mask all thing, this whole thing. The mask thing never really. I mean. Like I said, I always had my. Or let's just say people all around you. Just to say you walking around people and no one is gives a fuck like it doesn't exist no more. Are you gonna be like fuck it? I'm right there with you, homie. Like you know what I'm saying? Or are you just? I like, mean, <laughs> have you gotten the vaccine first of all? <laughs> nah, uh, no. <laughs> but uh, but what I'm saying is like it's kind of messed. I, I think you know like uh, at the end of the day, if people don't want to get vaccinated, then I don't think they shouldn't. Yeah, but like yeah, what's yeah. happening is like I don't think they could actually mandate it. Like uh-huh. mandate it. But what they're gonna do is mandate it within. You know, you can't go to, you can't, okay, you you can't go to Brazil then. You can't take a flight unless you're vaccinated because they can do that. Yeah. But yeah. they're not going to be like, you can't live in society. You know what I'm saying? Because they yeah. can't. I mean, do that. technically, they're going to make it that way. Yeah. There's, that, there's some, I be. can't think of the country off the bat, but there's a couple countries that still don't want uh, Americans to come into their soil oh, 100%. unless they're like, the, vaccinated, we're just not yeah. vaccinated because they but don't see, want none of that bullshit. So there is places that we are going to be restricted. Yeah, but, but to keep it a buck, though, like, yeah. I mean, you know, because like, I know COVID's real. Like, COVID, COVID's definitely real. Like, you know, I've definitely had, you know, people have it, you know, but the the whole aspect of it is like, bro, people are so stupid to think that like it just went away. You dig? Mm-hmm. Like, but that's you know, kind of what is happening. Even after they say vaccine, you have to retake it in six months. Yeah. You keep it a buck. Like, like it's not a one time shit. Keep it a buck though. Done. Like COVID well, doesn't, true. you know, that's for others. Cause... It's like for that's other not true. people. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's just because you, you're thinking because they said that up until now they have six months of data that the vaccine works because yeah. six months ago is when the first person that Took got the, the second one yeah. finished getting their second vaccine. So you ain't got to get vaccinated again in six months. Yeah, so so up until now, they know that it works for six months, but it's still Ooh. going. So you don't have to get vaccinated in six months. Yeah, and it can go up from that. You know, like if, if they, they still like check it in like a year later, they still don't need it, then it's a year and then it, yeah. like it grows and grows. Okay. It's just yeah, the they, more data they collect. Yeah, it's just but that I mean, it's, it's the data that they're collecting still. Like they, they don't know you. Like, but basically, at this point in time, you gotta take it within six months again. No, n- no at this point Until in they time, get more research, right? Now at this point in time, it's work. It works for up to six months. Mm-hmm. It's just them. So like, what if measuring. your six months are up? Then what? Nothing. Well, right now they don't have any more data. Use They're just like still building. They're just going day by day okay. with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but you don't have to retake the vaccine. Like there's no like rule that like. Yeah. I mean, there's no rule to take the first one in the first place, but. This is where it gets yeah, tricky. I, something just came up. I was just, I was watching a video where there's a court hearing talking about that they stopped trials on animals because they were dying. Animals? And they were turning human animals, yes. <laughs> animals. <laughs> yeah. animals. So it's like, okay. <laughs> so they're talking about it, and it says, okay, you guys stop doing it to animals, and you want to give it to people, but you, it's like, how can you do that? If the animals are dying, what do you think about people dying? So it's still a trial vaccine, and it's like it's not mm-hmm. right to mandate it, even not a job, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they're basically 100%. forcing you to get it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, eh. And to me, it's like, if I, if someone was to get it, it should have been me because I traveled this whole shit. I was around people. My bro. whole family got it. You went to Florida. I went to yeah. Florida twice. You know, I, I went dig to that, Kansas. Bro. And it's like, I never got it, but yeah. someone said I could just carry the shit. Or yeah, something. And then, yeah, because there's people that shit. Yeah, but I mean, car- every, like, my whole family carriers, got it, though. Yeah. Everybody got it. My except whole family got it except for me and, and my that, wife and, and my mom and shit. People also have different immune systems. Some people could just, could just naturally be immune to the virus without like having a like... chosen point. Chosen people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like no cap, bro, because like that's how I, that's how I am. Because like I, you know, I was traveling, I was doing the whole nine, opened up my business during COVID, mm-hmm. did everything, bro. 
and uh like i never got it like my i mean my pops got it i know some other people that got it but to keep it a buck like i mean it's my personal opinion people might disagree with me but i feel like we've i mean me personally in my own life i've dealt with stuff way worse you feel me like i've been in predicaments where death was right there you feel me like like the health wise with other health stuff you feel me and like COVID to me, it's like, bro, if COVID kills me, then my you've been a bitch your whole life. Like, don't do that. You know what Damn, I'm saying? That's, that's fucked up. Man. You know what I'm saying? To me. I mean, I get it, but it's like, like you said, some people have health issues. And yeah, yeah. No, there's underlying, because you know? I have underlying conditions myself. So I was always at a high risk. You feel me? Like, people, the people around me were like, because at first, I was really scared of COVID, like, when it first happened. But, like, because I, I have an underlying condition, so I wasn't even supposed to work. That's why I originally I lost my job, because, like, I wasn't able to work because my, my underlying conditions, like, my, my legit, my... Uh, my doctor called me and was like, yo, I'm a writer. No, you, you can't work. Like, well, this is when COVID first happened. Yeah. And like, yeah, of course, though. Like, but when you look at most of the studies, you know, and like not like because I know there's people that have actually had people die from it. So I'm not trying to like hurt people. But like when you look at those, like most of the stats are from people with underlying conditions like me or older elderly people who would die from uh, high blood pressure. Hot, die from natural causes would die from the actual flu too because like i think it was a big scare that we weren't prepared for and if it was handled a lot better by by the higher ups and you know like you know not only the president but just everybody just how everybody interacted with it yeah. you know if, if it was handled it would have just been a flu yeah yeah but just because people took it out of proportion, but that comes with anything. It comes with you know like a, a, anything you know a new a new lifestyle, a new job. You kind of have to learn it. But you pick it up. But like how we reacted was just we were just scared. Everybody, the whole world scared. Yeah. Like we thought it was some sh contagion. Like I thought I, if I looked at you, you were gonna eat me on my neck. What? Like you know like some that? type of like zombie <laughs> stuff. You know what I'm saying? I heard that about the vaccine, so I'm still like being careful and shit. Nigga, but <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go. He turns into those creatures from I Am Legend. But at the end of the day, it, it, yeah. How, how I feel is like it comes down to like with the mask, you know, like because I'm not one of those people that's like no mask, you know what I'm saying? It's like at the end of the day, it's like if you're around people, because my I, I have grandparents who didn't like didn't go out the house, and it's like if my grandma feels more comfortable with me wearing a mask, bro, I'm gonna do it because that's my loved one. Or yeah, if I have course. a homie who won't yeah. kick it with me because I won't wear a mask, I'm wearing a mask. Yeah, yeah, I'm not finna just be like nah. Uh, bro <laughs> no mess hank bro i don't like you uh disrupting our conversation even though i'm the only one talking um i'm playing with you bro but yeah like for for the safety of other people bro like I, i'm down i'm down to do it you know if other people who are vaccinated same with him like i don't want to lose yeah, business yeah, because yeah. i'm not wearing a mask because some people don't feel comfortable yep. and i'm gonna do whatever i can to make other people feel comfortable and i'm not going to be selfish and be like you know what i don't yeah. think this thing exists so yeah, yeah. I'm not going to wear a mask. Course, it's yeah, like yeah. I, this thing exists. It's very much real. Whether you believe it or not, it's very much real in how it's affecting us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is real. Yeah, and, and, it's a, and it's a serious yeah. choice to do because I know it sounds yeah. like, what the fuck, getting a vaccine, like, bro? And I know people are like, bro, they made it. I've been hearing so many stories. Like, bro, that shit got made in like two minutes and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then two there's minutes. sources that's like, no, it's, it's already kind of been made. It's just it's it, now we're getting we're checking if it's something that can help with that or whatever. Yeah. And the whole point of it is you can still catch it. It's just your body will, will fight the symptoms hella fast. So let's say someone has a headache, yeah. chills, uh, they can't breathe. Lots Your Gucci yeah, like you have compared it. to someone that has all the symptoms and they have to stay at home for two weeks or so whatever that's a it question is. Question too, like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you guys know, like, if you get the vaccine and if that person gets it, because you could technically still get it. Yeah, can you give it? They're saying apparently you can, because then you're yeah, you you're, you're, stay, the, you're you're the carrier. You, even with the vaccine, apparently. you can still be the carrier. The vaccine just makes you immune to the virus, yeah. but you can still pass it. On pass it, okay. Yeah, because okay. yeah. they they've retested people who don't have symptoms and they're like you have it. And they're like, what the fuck? And they retest it again just to make sure if it was like a you know a, a false read and mm -hmm. and they have it they have it you know what I'm yeah. saying and so they just don't get symptoms like other people would get it where they just fucking go in slump mode and you know what I mean so it's yeah but shit I mean we'll, I guess we'll be waiting for uh, June 15th we'll see how wild people so want to act question. wild the world summer. this is gonna Final be the wildest summer this is gonna be show. Yeah, hey, no, it's hot boy will. summer. <laughs> <laughs> Malibu, hey, all my homeboys, you, you better get those Malibu, Sean Don. We're gonna be uh, sick boys. Bubbly, you better get that champagne bubbly bottle because your local state parties, local 
everything is finna get turned up as long as you have a Malibu bottle. It's gonna all day. be sick boy summer, sick girl summer. It's Shit. gonna be sicko everything, <laughs> bro. Stay Are you in guys the house. going out? Uh, honestly, the only thing I kind of low key look forward to is hopefully they bring that car show back. Vegas, out here, man. Man. That was already Vegas established. Vegas just saying, happening so, uh, on yeah. August 12th to the. Uh, you know, let's go to Vegas. 15, I think. So, what? so the car show is happening. Let's go to oh, Vegas. It's, it's guaranteed okay. that's going to happen. <laughs> let's go to <laughs> Vegas. Grand. Vegas summer. Oh, I already went. Where else? Let's go to. Why do you want to go to Vegas in I'm the summer when it's super show. hot? Yeah. The live shows. The live show. Like, talking about live shows last time. You're going to that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Concert hey, by hey. um that people. Hey, what that if we, people. Damn, that's Paris cold, people. bro. Hey, what well, if we, man, I can't think. That's hey, fucked what up. What if we take yeah. a, a slide through field trip? Yeah. To, hey, that's, hey. In, that's more winter you know, time. Messed up, bro. Don't oh, take okay, that, so it's Eric. farther than. Yeah. This is a dot gov and we still can't trust it. <laughs> Hey, what if we what if hey, we take a quit. <laughs> <laughs> what if we take a slide through field trip to the to Cancun or to like the Yucatan in Mexico? Yeah, like let's go chill. Pristine sandy beaches. Yo, yo. Who's gonna okay. take the? Uh, you got us. What are they? I got you. You got us. All right, cool. You said Should it. We got us, nigga. It's on camera. You got us. I got you. You got us, bro. All right, so moving forward, DJ, what's the next topic? Uh, let's see, what else we got? We got, I guess we got a, the new J Cole album from what it looks like. Oh so yeah, I'll be honest, I have like not it. heard it, so I can't speak on this. It's cool. I like it. He started yeah. off with some bangers. I liked it. I thought it was. I liked how he uh, addressed the whole little fight that he it had. It wasn't with produced Diddy. by Apollo though, man. So Miggy's harder. <laughs> he said Blueface is harder. He said earlier. Uh, Let's ship the flag guys harder. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. There we go. Pride is the devil. Miggy, I like Miggy's that harder. <laughs> Hank's harder. No, Hank is harder though. June's harder. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> So, so Eric, right, Eric, so you were, not hard. So Eric, not you were hard. saying you were saying it's cool it though. For the like, soft some slappers or yeah. I mean, not, uh, I'm not gonna say every song is the same. Like, there's some songs that he got into a different bag. I would yeah. say, mm -hmm. but uh, other than that, yeah, it's still J Cole's that's bars. Like little baby was hard. Yeah, that shit. Uh, that 95 hard. South was that, hard. That uh, 21 Savage verse was hard. Mm -hmm. No, oh yeah, 21, yeah. 21 Savage, you feel me? I don't even listen to mainstream artists, but Cole dropped, I had to listen to at least three songs. Yeah. Those songs were the ones I listened to, the one with 21 Savage, Love Baby, <laughs> and then 95 South, because that was the one that everybody was talking about. Those are the ones I always got the little stars, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the side. I just peep it, because like, I don't really, like I say, you know, I don't really listen to mainstream artists. It's yeah. It's not no, no, I remember you were telling really, me that, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll kind of peep it a little bit, see what's yeah, happening, you feel me? Like, but I after that, J. Cole, after but that, you'll... Cole is never, you know, Help me put my underwear on, oh, so of yeah, brush my teeth. Anything. <laughs> so. I, mean, I, I personally liked it. You know, it's not not really? all the songs. Listen to I, I slapped oh, the whole okay. thing. Yeah. God, for some reason, Damn, I feel like you don't. You, you always say time? you don't listen to anything. Huh? So I, yeah. I, I was driving for like twelve hours out to for Arizona real? the other oh, day, yeah. so it was around the time when it dropped. So I was just playing it on the car, and um, we stopped by Vegas, and it was just slapping. Mm -hmm. I seen really? the video with the little baby. That, that was dope too. No, actually, that was a different video. You know what album DJ goes Kelly, hard? His album he dropped, that one's dope, too. Okay. But, oh, um, I think the 95 South is my favorite, and then the Pride is the Devil. Yeah, 95 South. Yeah, is the right. one with Lil Baby? Mm -hmm. The one with Lil Baby was definitely... And you got Cole, like, uh, Cole was on it. Like, Cole, you know, J, you, like, J. Cole is, like, I don't know, like, with Lil Baby, when you have J. Cole and them together, like, a new, new school and old school... Like I think that was, that was hard to see J Cole together with Lil Baby, bro. Like I, I I think it's cool that J Cole on his album like actually put some you know younger heads like on it, like mm -hmm. you know, because I feel like a lot of these older heads it, they don't connect with the younger gen. And like, cause what is he thirty? He's thirty six. Mm -hmm. Like Lil so. Baby's fairly new, you know, in the yeah, hip hop yeah. industry. And yeah, to see yeah. Cole. And, and Lil Baby on that song, like, that's pretty hard. Because, like, you know, like, 21 Savage and Cole, like, 21 Savage is, like, in the in-between, you know? 21 Savage yeah, has yeah, kind yeah. of been a poppin'. He's kind of been well, a he thing. made a song with him before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes but, sense. But, like, I've never seen J. Cole make a song with Lil Baby. Yeah. You know, which was a really cool feature. That's cool. You know, and, and uh... I mean, even applying pressures, like, like I said, it's not something you go and slap and be like, uh, yeah. It's something like you just listen to. That was, that was dope too. They're like talking to you. Huh? That's yeah, what yeah. J Cole's always kind of been though. Yeah. So to me, I like this kind of music, so I like the album. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, go. I thought the album was good. You like sure. the storytelling, just yeah, people just talking shit. to you, yeah. not too much of people like. Eh, mm-hmm. I mean, everybody people likes that shit. You feel know me? Know but, but it's like every new yeah popping music. Every, lyrics, everything has yeah. its vibe. Everything has yeah. its has its like you know what I'm saying like you know what to listen to at what time, low key. You know, Facts. Exactly. yeah. No, for real, for real. Nah, but yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll probably have to give it a little peep, man. Yeah, I gotta uh, listen to it through and was, through, definitely. Shout out to, uh, fuck, what's the album called? They're local, man. I was slapping this today in traffic, too. Uh, well, Eric put me onto uh, an album, but besides that one, there's another one, local one. Uh, Oh, we had him here like a couple weeks ago uh, as a SM- SMG. SMG, hey, SMG. shout out my boy. Woo, 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 woo. Well, Micah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, not no yeah. Way. so That's shout, not no way. There you go. So shout out to them, and uh, you know what I mean. I was fucking chopping it up with them on on the IG, and I'm like, I got I got to listen to some of their shit while I'm out oh, here. Oh man! And so I played the whole thing from front front to end. Hey, and, uh, there you go. It was it was a good Crazy. one. It was a good one. So it's uh, that we on now. It's on now. I, think, was, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Hold on. but I was listening to the album on you know what I mean out there on the way back out here. <laughs> So it was, it was a good one to peep through. I mean, I was stuck in traffic for a minute. So like you were saying, you were in your traffic. You heard some things. Songs. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, they were good, man. It was a good, good it album. Was a, uh, it was this one. Hold on. I'm going to put it on a little thing so they know yeah. that they, you, you know, the, the album, EP. Yeah. You dig? Tap in with them. The film quality is terrible on this right now. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cover, Eric's face Cover Eric's face. Cover Eric's face. Come on, face. Come on, face. <laughs> Put it in close. Uh, well, shout out to them. Shout out to them. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> shout out my boy Joe. My boy Joe go crazy. Shout out my boy Micah. You dig? Shout out my boy Corey. You know, shout out everybody. My boy Tay. Tay with four Y's. Don't ask why though. You dig? There you go. But hey, yeah, they, they definitely got some dope music, man. And, uh, I enjoy working with them, but like, yeah, man, there's so many dope artists that are becoming with some new tapes. No, I, I know Terrence is a. Uh, uh, I know he's dropping he, something. Uh, he's gonna have an album. There's some other people. My, uh, one of my homies, Giuseppe, he's gonna drop an album. Um, Summer's coming, man. Bishop's gonna why. drop an album called The Ism God. I was blessed to be a part of it. Hell That's yeah. gonna be saucy. Man, he told us he has so many albums. Oh, he's and dropped songs. like he's dropped like five thousand songs. I'm like, dude. I was like, because I think we were, we were talking about it too. Like, what are you gonna do? You you just working on? Yeah. He's like, honestly, I just make them. And I'm oh, Bishop's one of my favorite artists. You know? Period. Like, not just like of any other. Yeah. He's one of my favorite artists, bro. Bishop's dope. And uh, one of those things with uh, Bishop, you know, it's like. Uh, me and Hank were talking about the other day. When he does get put on, like when he is mainstream, people are going to think he was a, a industry plant. <laughs> Just because his brand. And yeah. I was like, bro, this fool is not an industry plant. I can assure you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, he's going to make Shadow Cap a little popular, though. I can tell you oh, that. Exactly. People are going to start rocking them way more than. Because even before I even knew who he was, I would see the Shadow Cap and I'm like, I, I knew who he was because then I see him again. I'm like, out. it's the same guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yep, he yep. he for sure, for sure stood out, man. But he's dope, man. Yeah, man. I'm happy to see where where he'll actually go, man. Because he really got all he the puts potential, in the work, man. Too. He does. Same with he that's does. same with the you know SMG. The, yeah. SMG TSL. They put in that work, man. There's a lot of people putting in work. FMM. They're putting in work. Yeah, yeah, putting yeah. In work. Constantly shooting music videos. You know, my boy Chubbs, like all these guys, Johnny, that just moved from uh, Florida, you know, they're putting in work, work. You know, you got all these people. My boy Eric, Cool KG, he's putting in work all the time. Okay, okay. He's working on a project. There's countless artists, if I forget their names, you know, don't yeah, get booty yeah. tickled. You feel me? <laughs> but uh, yeah. there's a lot of people here, you oh, know. I haven't heard t- that shit since fucking maybe middle school. Are you so booty tickled? Are you so booty tickled? Are you so booty tickled? Oh, shit. But yeah, check out the J. Cole album. Check out all the local artist albums. Uh, what do we got next, DJ? Let's see. I think we got uh, we got Business Hour, Pentagon, Army, or what? So you know what? Bu- let's Business Someone. Hour, uh, we had a, a viewer ask about uh, Business Hour. Can you explain it, Chewy? Yeah, well, it's actually something I pitched that, uh, you know, we could have, like, a little segment to discuss, like, no, how, no, how, we, how we grow that. business. Uh, you know, so so we can also help out the viewers because oh, yeah, I want yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I want Keep the viewers talking, to know that you know we're also educational and like listening to us they'll get shit out of it you know mm-hmm. yeah. yeah okay mm-hmm. you know so so give them a little something you know teach them how 
uh, you know, you can start an LLC or, you know, how you can get your website looking right. You know, that sort of shit, you know. There you go. Okay, okay. Right. Like a little so bit. this is you a know, segment. Yeah, a segment. Yeah, you know, like just to, little, out, to give people feedback. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what game. what we're doing. Spin game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Basically, spin game to the people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. so how do you sell life insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it is. It's like, what, yeah. hire, what hires your cholesterol? <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, but for real. I no, for real, they're going to it off. Let's start with uh, Ricky L.O.C. Let's start with Ricky L.O.C. Ricky L.O.C. No, I don't know. I'm figuring it out. Um, um, my coach said, uh, you got to have a business plan, first of all. <laughs> When you write these business plans, do you, like, actually write them out, or is it just something you have? Um, I mean, if you're going to get a loan from a bank, you have to have a legit business plan down. There's people yeah, that do it for you, you know, yeah. but you got to say how much, um, what's the word for it? Net. Revenue. Yeah, revenue. Your, your net revenue, all that stuff, within, like, different periods of, uh, of quarterly throughout the year and quarter, shit like yeah. that. So if you're going to go get a loan... You got to start with that if you want some money. Ooh. Like, if you have no money to put up, you start like that. If you have some money to put up, maybe you could create your logo. Think of a catchy name, something that stands out, something that people would just be like, oh, okay, that, that's what it is. Yeah. And then you create a, a logo, attractive colors if you can. Um, and from there, you just start a following. As soon as you get, you feel like you're up, like where someone can just steal your shit, then you start with your, uh, your name branding. You need to own your name. You're, and then you need to get your fix, fictitious thing. Fictitious business name, if you which, actually. Which, yeah, 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 which is, is uh, part of your logo, too. So it's just different things. It's like three different, uh, I forget what they're called, three different things you got to buy. One's just the name, the other one's your logo, and the other one, I forget what it is. The domain, or? No, that's that's separate. That's, that's for, for your website. website. Yeah. For your website's easy. The domain's like $14. You buy it from, like, goldaddy.com or uh, spot, that's not a pot of us, Spotified. Shopify. Shopify. <laughs> and then there's another one like Squarespace. Yeah, so that Squarespace. One, that's the easy part. The easy part is getting your domain because you just pay like 14 bucks and they give it to you for the whole year. And you you don't have to pay it till the next year. And then I would say as you grow, you, you could create a website. Yeah. But, I mean, you could do it as soon as you start too. But then again, you got to remember that's money you got to put in because you got to pay a monthly fee on that. Ooh. You know? Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, if you're starting from the bottom like that, following, you got your trademarks. Then you create a business plan so you could go big. Like, there's no point in you asking for money if you have nowhere to invest it because they're going to see where it's going to invest it. Is it for rent? Is it for merchandise? And all that different stuff. So, Damn. from my understanding, that's how you start building. A, there's more ins and outs. If you guys are having a hard time, there's uh, this website called... Um, what the fuck is it called? Uh, I'll, we'll put it on the comments or something. But basically... They do everything for you. You ain't got to do We're shit. The They'll comments. do the background check to make sure no one owns the name. Uh, they uh, they give you every paperwork you need to submit to get your ITIN number to the bank already filled out for you. They'll give you your paperwork for taxes all filled out for you. So pretty much all you have to do is submit, submit, submit. And that's with the business license for the city. Uh, if you need a uh, uh, certain license for the building, like the zoning like the zoning license. So it starts getting complicated and it might not make sense, but once you start looking into it and if you're gonna have a retail spot, then you'll see what you need to do. And for each city, you gotta have a different business license. Like you can't just Ooh. buy one oh, yeah. and do business everywhere else. It has to be like individual per city or Ooh. you might be able to get one for the county. Yeah, the only person that I think that could do that is like a social media marketer. Okay. But but uh, it, it, they could get audited if they find out that they're not in the actual location in which yeah, they're presented. Yeah. Yeah. You need, like, a base either way. Uh -huh. And yeah, yeah. you can start something from or home. freelancer. Yeah. You, have to, you can start something from home. You don't necessarily need to have a business of place. You could put your home address yeah. as your business of place. Like, so don't think you need to get a location for you to start doing something. Oh, 100%. You know? But that's my game from what I've experienced from the little businesses I created and that's it, yeah. Yeah, you taught us a lot, man. I think I just learned a little bit, too. <laughs> now, I was someone that, man, I started from the ground. I didn't know how, how I was going to do it. I just thought it was, all right, we'll buy some clothes and do this and do that. And then as I got more into it, it was more like, all right, well, I got to let people know I'm serious, man. People got to see me. People got to know I'm here. People got to know that I'm showing up. So then I ended up making an Instagram account, uh, like, around 2016, 17, something like that. Yeah. And then after that, I was just... Uh, 
you know, I had to get serious with, you know, just promoting on there. And then after that, I had to continue to invest into it. I can't even say how much money I put into it. But um, one thing I do, I did notice is when I went to my first event, I didn't have business cards and I didn't have a website. And one thing people kept asking me for was, where's my website? And uh, do I have any business cards? And then that oh man that felt like an uppercut because they weren't saying it in a way to like be rude They're like oh cool like do you have a business card and i'd be like nah uh you know what i mean i'm like nah i don't uh i'm working on that like okay uh, what's your website then and i'm like uh, i'm still working on that too and and it yeah. was just like fuck like i can't have this anymore and so that's when i knew like for people listening like uh you know if you're gonna make a business or you know you want to stand out man uh looking professional being professional is, is very it's a big serious thing about it so uh i say you know if depending on the revenue you're trying to have come in man definitely uh you know get a website going be legit with it you know pay pay the fees you know but believe in what you're believe that you're you're selling dope and you're holding dope man because uh like they say dope sells itself man and so you know you got to be happy what you have and what you're trying to give mm -hmm. out to the people um what's called it you know business cards all that type of stuff you know take your ig serious you know don't post any bullshit on there because there's people that f follow you just for business purposes so if they nice. see you posting bullshit then be like oh, this, this person might not be really that serious you know what i mean so you know i try to keep it as professional as always and, and i know um, that you've been like and, uh, uh doing uh better with the social media because you've been like yeah. more on it because i remember yeah you used to be like posting like less and now you're posting like almost like all the time you know, yeah well i try to because yeah. i know a lot of people are just people there's people that I'd rather view you know what i mean and there than then you know like like pictures and stuff like that but uh uh regardless apparently it's important because it's people are they keep seeing it and they keep seeing it over and over yeah, so uh, yeah like you know what i mean exactly so uh it's the constant little Brand. exactly exactly man and uh what's it called yeah and just expand man you know don't don't just stay in one spot man try to take it other places other areas and 100%. and uh I'm, I'm still a, a student you know as i say i'm still a student in the game man so i'm still learning and uh as i keep learning i'll be able to share more uh more knowledge of it but all i can say man is you just got to grind hard man go hard and and even when you have moments where you're frustrated and no sales or it feels like people aren't fucking with you man you just got to you got to keep it pushing, man. You got you to know why you started. You feel mm -hmm. me? And, and you got to keep it going, man. But yeah, man. It's a little side note. It's called yeah. Legal Zoom. I'm sure you guys seen the ads <laughs> on it. They do everything for you, legit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Now to the man of Polo, bro. Tell us. Uh, tell us. Tell us. <laughs> man. Hey, as, a, as an engineer, how'd Polo you like? got the whole game. Uh, uh, for so like for you know it depends. This is for anything client based. You know, like if you're if you're, you know, people that can relate to me are you know like nail salons or people that do hair. You know, cut hair. Uh, you know, engineering somebody or even like electrician. You know, an electrician has clients. Is like when you build clients, like you have to be really like person oriented you know building relationship building bonds it sounds cliche but building bonds and actually caring about your image and actually like not caring about the money because you're not going to make money within probably the first five years of your brand like you'll probably break even but i've definitely put in more money into my artist than i've actually received like in me spending my money you know what i'm saying okay. like actually like you know i pay all my bills and stuff but like that's besides the fact you know like i don't like i'm like oh i'm gonna get a ferrari you know but uh you know as far as like opening up the business man like it, i think it's always good to do everything legal you know start off with a dream start off with a goal start off with you actually doing it not just saying it but uh the biggest thing man is just have grit keep pushing worry worry about you know be careless uh, or not careless uh what, what is the word um Spirit free it, not uh like give give care what is it care carefree yeah, it's kind of like you, you know you're you're selfless. Yeah. Be mm -hmm. selfless, and people will see that in your brand. And they'll buy they'll buy into it, you know. And uh, that's that's the last thing I would really say. I, mm -hmm. I would take that into consideration. Is be, you know, get give give with your full heart in any brand, and and just let the people connect with that. So, mm -hmm. that being said, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, slide through with the slide through. If not, you're slid through. <laughs> like I said again, time and time again, bro. Classic, classic. At the end of the day, Forever be if classic. you're not tapping in, bro, if I if I seriously see we have 200 views on this one and not 200,000, I might flip. <laughs> might not ever pop up on the slide through again, so tap in. If you want to see through, Apollo come boys. back tomorrow. If you want to see slide through, slide through with slide through again, you better tap in. You better slide through. You slid through. All right, last note. Uh, Business-wise, appearance is everything oh, you brought it so appearance is everything 
So Perception. that's it. That's Perception. it. Yeah, thank you, yeah, man. All right, so let's for joining us. Thank today. you for everyone listening, man. Y'all have we'll a great see y'all week. Yes, sir. Next week. Hard body. Yes, Go. Yes, sir, man. Slide through.